Russia is our friend. The South will rise again. Russia is our friend. The South will rise again. That's what they say. I'm not making this That's up. That's amazing. That's what they <laughs> march to. Russia is our friend. Right? And, wow. the, and the Jews will not replace us. Shauna Cleveland is an attorney who's been advocating for the impeachment of President Trump. During a Facebook Live interview, an audience member accused her of being a communist, as you will soon see. Just prior to that, I had asked her if the United States is particularly susceptible to disinformation campaigns intended to divide us. I think there are divides in our country that make us um, uniquely susceptible. Um, I think the Russians know that we're vulnerable. They clearly tried to play on some of the racial divides in our country, some of the religious divides in our country with the ads that they were putting yeah, out yeah. Um, during the course of the election. And I think had a very clear understanding of what it was about our country that made us susceptible to this. Because if you really believe that there's a, a culture war, a war on Christmas, a war on white people, you know, in this country and that these immigrants and these people of color, the Obama coalition is attacking you, whatever threat that Russia and its nuclear weapons that are pointed at our country, that's remote possibility, but you definitely have neighbors speaking Spanish. <laughs> right. right. Well, and, you know, as a child of the 80s um, who grew up, you know, towards the end of the Cold War and, and remembers Red Dawn um, yeah. As, yeah. as one of the big movies of the time, it has been shocking to me to see the number of people who are not concerned about the positive statements that Trump was making about Russia, you know, during the campaign, right. um, but also don't seem concerned now that it's clear that, that Russia you know, had um, a plan to intervene in the election, don't seem to be upset about that at all because of the culture war um, narrative that's out there. Now, what if they wanted to help the other side of the culture war? What if they said, hey, we're going to help the immigrants and we're going to help black people have equal rights. We're going to help gays and lesbians. And then they had a presidential candidate that they helped to win. How do you think Republicans would be reacting to that? Well, I think we would already be seeing impeachment hearings uh, moving forward. So I have a great comment that I can't wait to get your response to. This uh, person named Dean Wayne has merely said, she's a communist. <laughs> that's, that's great. So. I'm actually the one who is concerned about conspiracies with Russia, <laughs> the nation that tried to spread communism throughout the globe, and this person assumes that I'm a communist. That's very interesting. Uh, it also might be worth knowing um, that I grew up in Texas in the South. Um, and uh, and there, communist just means interracial like <laughs> power, right? It just means civil rights. That's what right. communist means. It means equal right. rights for people who aren't white. Right. So um, so yeah, that's um, it, it. Is really it's strange to me. This but are is, you guilty of wanting equal rights for people who are not white? Well, what I want is equal justice under the law for everyone. So communist clearly. So, yeah. <laughs> so you know, the founding fathers would probably say that I am. Uh, uh, small r Republican, um, because that's what I want. Um, but, you know, communist, Republican, maybe there's not so much of a difference these days. No, 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 no. <laughs> See, it, communist never meant communist here. It no, never I meant know, communist. That what they meant, you know, they, they went after Martin Luther King, communist, right? right? They put up those billboards about that camp where they were training the civil rights leaders, right. and they said it's a communist camp. They were trying to say, we want you to be even more afraid of equal justice under the law for African Americans than right. you already are. So let's involve this idea of communists and Russians and we'll right. call them communists. And it yeah. also allowed J. Edgar Hoover to persecute and, and, exactly. and to, to try to basically to undermine the civil rights movement. Right. But it's now that Russia is trying to further the preservation of white rule in this country. Hmm. Now the white supremacists march to Russia is our friend. The South will rise again. Russia is our friend. The South will rise again. That's what they say. I'm not making this That's up. That's amazing. That's what they <laughs> march to. Russia is our friend. Right? And, wow. the, and the Jews will not replace us. Yeah, the second I had heard, I had not heard the Russia is our friend. That is truly amazing. And, and actually, I, I've spoken to people who really kind of have done a lot of research on the white supremacist movement. And mm -hmm. this started earlier, even before mm. Trump. It was because of Putin's persecution of gays and lesbians. 
it's it's the way he's treating his people. He's brutalizing his people in the right. way that these white supremacists would like to see our leaders do, but not toward them, toward those people. Towards the, gays the minorities. And minorities. And the, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. We typically, if we talk about Russia, we receive comments not just from people on the right, mm -hmm. but there are also people on the left who have grown tired of that issue dominating when there are other things at hand. What would you say to people on the left who are saying, no, no, still don't believe it, no, no, still don't want to hear about it? Well, I would say it's really important to know that Russia isn't only doing this to the U.S. It's clear that they also interfered in the Brexit referendum. Um, they've also mm -hmm. been trying to interfere in other Western European elections. Um, and so the reason that we have to grapple with this and we have to understand what happened is so that we can make sure that they're not able to interfere with our free elections um, in 2018 or in 2020 or any time in the future. David Daylodge is asking, what are the limits to the power to pardon? That is a, a great question and a live question right now. You may know um, he, his first pardon was of Joe Arpaio, um, the sheriff uh, formerly of Maricopa County in Arizona. Um, we have joined with other groups, including Protect Democracy, to argue that he has gone beyond the constitutional limits of the pardon power in that particular case. It seems clear that it would be an abuse of power for him to try to pardon people in an effort to obstruct justice. And so were he at this point um, to try to pardon Flynn or Papadopoulos or others, um, I think that would be a good case for impeachment. And in fact, obstruction of justice and abuse of power, uh, including the abuse of the pardon power, are a couple of the counts that we've laid out as impeachment offenses.